Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here, a little bit snuffly today, so apologize if my voice is a little bit sort of deeper than normal. Um, but we're doing a review on Lunatask. Now, obviously this is First Impressions Friday, so we're back with another feature. I am quite enjoying the First Impressions Friday concept, but let me know in the comments below whether you are too. Now, before we begin, I just wanted to say a big thanks to our sponsor, Woven, for sponsoring today. You can check a little bit more about them in the description below, but here Here's a bit more about them now. So this month's sponsor is Woven. It is great to have them back as a sponsor. If you don't know what Woven is, it's a powerful calendar and scheduling application. It's actually my go-to calendar application and helps me schedule the majority of my meeting. Features include the likes of scheduling tools to be able to organize those meetings, whether they're group ones or individual, multi-calendar support, video conferencing for connecting apps like Zoom, and templates for saving you time with those routine meetings. You can get Woven for free in the description below and check out more. A huge thanks to Woven for coming on as a sponsor. So here we are, this is Luna Task now. I don't know why I wanna keep saying Luna Note, but this is an application designed to be a privacy focused to-do list, habit tracker, mood tracker, and Pomodoro application. Now I haven't jumped to this, into this, and I think I first saw this on Product Hunt. Um, it actually, I believe in my notes here, it came on third place on Product Hunt earlier in March, which isn't too bad. I think it got just over 600 upvotes according to their website. Now this one's available on Mac and Windows, although their Windows version is apparently experimental with Linux support coming soon. Now the whole concept behind this is to help you to organize your tasks a little bit better um, through a multitude of concepts. They're introducing things like Kanban, uh, would, must, should, want concepts, uh, Pomodoro, and they do plan on adding Eisenhower matrix. They also want you to track your habits and track your mood as well through the application. But they don't have a mobile application at the moment. You have a quick add ability here. They don't really have a pricing model at the moment, um, but their real sort of core difference to some other applications is that they have end-to-end -end encryption of their data. They also have no tracking in terms of in-app analytics, which is very common in a lot of applications to be able to see how you navigate through the application. And they also have no tracking on their website too, which is something that I know a lot of people who are secure security conscious, privacy conscious, are obviously focused on, uh, you know, especially with these new applications coming out. So I have downloaded it on Mac and here we are with the application. So I'm gonna go get set up and sort of take you around what the application is. Definitely my first impressions of it. Obviously I've seen screenshots and things like that, um, but hopefully I can share what I think early days. Okay, so as I'm on this stage, I entered my email and I got a one-time email password thing. Now, obviously I put that in and as you can see here, it said set up encryption all data is end-to-end -end encryption to ensure no one else can access it. Please choose to secure password and keep it safe. If you forget your password, your data will be lost and there'll be no way of recovering it. So that's quite an interesting approach. Not seen that with an application like this before. Okie dokie, so I'm here on the application and you can see here you can get set up with your personal tasks to start. But let's start with the navigation column. Down this left-hand side, you can access personal and work task. First off, I quite like that. Being able to have that sort of separation can be quite nice for some people having this sort of like block you've got habits here um, which you can set and uh, use as sort of like a, um, a tracker of those but you can also rate your mood down here as well and you can do a global search between all of your experiences okay so as you can see here they've got some pre-built ones um, if I click into a task you can add a few notes just below it much like you would in applications like things 3 you can also set the stage of the task whether it's up next whether it's waiting whether it's done and I assume that will go into a separate section so if I press next you can also add an estimate of time that you want to complete the task so it might take me 20 minutes and a higher or lower level of uh, importance so if this was a low importance you can see that it goes to the bottom of the pile inside the now area you've also got here um, some of the later um, tasks so you can see here that they have um, just the later associated to them um, and that just helps you to organize that there. You can also add a repeat stuff for, for example, things that you want to do routine and you can schedule stuff for later. For example, if I added that to next Monday, you can see that it comes up in the later section and now up here. 
Now, if I'm honest, I quite like the concept here just because um, it's quite plain and simple, um, sets stuff out quite easily. You've also got this ability to focus in on a specific task for, say, 25 minutes, and you can see there, you, a timer has started. Um, so it's almost like a Pomodoro timer that gets going, although I don't see any indication around here um, that I have a Pomodoro timer started. It's more just from here and you can unfocus it here if you want to. Now there are no set projects, so you can't really overcomplicate this in terms of setting up uh, folders. I believe you can, maybe you are. Oh no, you've got areas of life, so you can set up these sort of folders. Um, but as you can imagine, they're more associated to different areas of life. Um, so for example, you could put baby here, or I just put Otto, and press OK. And you can have tasks that are associated to this. Um, however, there's no real like way to see all of your tasks at once, I don't believe. So that's something that's a little bit strange. Down here you've got add a task, but that's not really anything you can do. So I'm not seeing a way that you can actually like see everything that you've got to do in one section. I think you have to go to those individual areas to find out your tasks. So going from the settings, you can make a few modifications to how like things are defaultly set. Uh, you can check out your account and whether you have free access. And down here, you also can request uh, access to features um, and also uh, keyboard shortcuts as well. And they do have, it looks like a public API that probably hasn't got going yet, but they do have developer documentation for that. So this is really dead simple. I wouldn't say there's anything too advanced at all. It's quite a minimalist application. I would say it's a little bit of a pain that it's not available on an app like uh, a mobile device uh, for the moment, just because capturing would be quite easy. Things that I think make it stand out are definitely the ability to be able to add the estimation. And I really like the prioritization concepts here. I'm having sort of like this growth uh, or sort of um you know highest high normal etc to appear sort of as a, some some sort of ranking system for your tasks um i like the ability to add um the remind the um habits um and as you can see here uh, it gives you an indication of how many has been done to date and down here you can give a an emotional or mood to your day which i assume in the future they'll probably um, you know, learn from you. You can see here that you can give your mood at any given time and it might help you to understand your sort of emotions and whether habits are affecting them. But at the moment, there's not really any like, uh, you know, artificial intelligence or machine learning that can help, help you get to that end game. So all in all, <laughs> it's a very simple application. I, I'm not saying I don't like the concept. I think these sort of minimalist applications are quite cool these days. I like the fact that it's got habit tracker and it doesn't overcomplicate things either, too much at least. Um, but I wouldn't say it's anything revolutionary. This probably majority of this is available through Tick Tick. Um, I was going to say TikTok then, <laughs> um, but as you can imagine, it just has a little bit of a slightly different take on it with the mood tracking uh, and the habit tracking. So I'm going to give this a six and a half out of ten. I'm not madly impressed, but I'm not poor and it's not going to be a poor experience for me. They definitely need to add a mobile experience. And I do, I guess, like the concept that it's end to end encrypted just because your data is secure, at least we know that. Um, obviously, I'd have to read the privacy guides in more detail to find out you know, how that works, but they do state that as their sort of leading and um, you know, the first thing that they mention. So this is developed by someone called Mikhail Kreshki. I'm gonna butcher his name, but he's a he's a full stack developer. It's I think one of his first or sort of first with public projects, um, and it's also available on product terms. So you can check out more details below. Uh, again, six and a half, not bad, but not great at the same time. <laughs> not amazing. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this week's uh, first impressions Friday. Um, I'll be doing another one next week, so do stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio, guys.